happens then, like we do. All right, so uh, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in this evening. It's uh, a real delight to have you with us. And uh, Lynn has asked me to come along and just share a couple of words, a couple of pointers, a little bit of advice, and uh, maybe even a dash of motivation for this evening to uh, help you along the way on the magnificent journey that you've already uh, obviously taken your way off to. So I'm just going to uh, do this. You put me on the big screen because I like looking at my own face, obviously. Hits me off. Not your face, I mean my own. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, so yeah, so um, here we are then in the now uh, fourth week after launch. So the majority of you have been uh, involved uh, for pretty much all of that time, which has been really great. Uh, we got off to such a fantastic start that first week. There was such a lot of uh, pre-gathered interest orders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then as has very much been expected all along, there's been that sort of uh, lull period. Now, the exciting thing is that come Monday, of course, all the auto ships right across Isogenics UK are going to start to come out. So there's going to be that rejuvenated, that um, that uh, renewed sense of uh, enthusiasm, of new products being sent. Uh, people are getting to the end of that first 30-day system or shake and nourish or premium pack whatever it is that they might have ordered to get themselves started. So it's going to be that chance once again that we're all going to um, benefit from that, from that uh, excitement and buzz. So uh, there's always opportunities to be posting about uh, what's occurring or uh, what's going to come next. So um, the, the things that uh, I'm most excited about and sharing with my prospects, my customers and fellow associates is obviously about, like I've just said, that the auto ships are coming out starting Monday of next week. Uh, people are going to be renewing their commitment, further ingraining themselves into the process and committing to the use of the product. Not only that, of course, towards the end of this month, we have the grand opening. There's going to be 3,000 people there uh, all celebrating the really fantastic and great success of so many associates and customers, not only here in the UK, but worldwide too. Um, in addition to that, of course, is the fact that we are really just at the beginning. So I know that it's actually been a very long and hard slog. Uh, Raven, who I'm sure many of you have heard uh, speak before, even maybe had the pleasure of his company in person, uh, has actually been working on his business since August of last year. And then I got involved, uh, started to get involved around January, February of this year. And so it's been several months and then here we are several weeks into the actual concrete process of launching. So it can become tiresome. It can become weary. And it can feel at times that despite your best effort, despite you putting your time, committing your effort, your enthusiasm, and working very hard, that you're really not getting as much return as you might like. It's a very, very common feature within network marketing. In fact, I'd be very, very surprised if there isn't a, a single network marketer out there that has not gone through at least one period where they feel like that. And uh, I was really fortunate to be sponsored originally five years ago by a multimillionaire network marketer. And he gave me a really solid and golden piece of advice when I was just getting started myself and perhaps felt a little dejected at times. And he said that, I forgot. <laughs> it was so solid. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> and he said that um, that's exactly the time to continue to act. If you don't feel like quitting at least once a week, you're not doing it correctly. Because the simple fact of the matter is that if you're not bothered, if you're not engaging, if you're just doing a little bit, well, you know, you're not going to really expect any sort of return for that. And therefore, you're not going to be disappointed. Your expectation will meet your reality. And that'll be fine. Because you can always choose the following Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, any day of the week. In fact, you can always choose to begin again and to, uh, uh, to approach it with renewed enthusiasm and to get started. Whereas... <clears throat> As I've already said, there are times where you're going to be genuinely applying yourself, trying really hard, reaching out to new people, establishing new relationships, having those natural organic conversations, 
making the offer at the appropriate time and just not getting the result. And you go into fear that it's something to do with you, that um, you're not uh, appealing in some way, that you're not putting the information across in the right way, that uh, perhaps it, it's a case of you just don't have it. Some people do, some people don't, like pop singers or like athletes or things like that. Well, the truth is that there is an element of talent, of course, like there is to any particular thing in the world. Some people make, make wonderful natural mothers right from the very beginning. Others have to work really hard and become more nurturing over a period of time. With athletes, with business people, with economists, with politicians, with uh, nurses, doctors, teachers, people who make the roads, lay the roads, people who um, work in the oil refinery across from Lynn's uh, home which is currently exploding but she's still here and committed and engaged which is very wonderful to see whatever it might be it also takes a massive amount of commitment of uh, work of ethic and a commitment to learning to developing to progressing as we go along if you were the same person in six weeks six months or six years time that you are now would you be happy with that? Because I certainly know that I wouldn't. Are you the same person that you were six months ago, six years ago or more? Well, you're not, are you? Because through the experiences that we have, from the things that we pick up and we learn, the people that we meet, the good things that happen, the bad things that happen, all the indifferent in between, it all has an effect on us and changes us. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse, sometimes somewhere in between. We're always making a change. And so I'm here this evening then to reassure you that if you want to quit, that's fantastic. Because it means that you're doing it right. It means that you're making the headway, that you're making the progress. But let me assure you, rather than it being all doom and gloom, which is not really what I was going for, but maybe is how you're taking it so far. But rather than that being the case at all, let me assure you that if you continue to apply yourself, continue to reach out to new people, expanding your network, network of people outside of who you know already, then it's only a matter of time before the results start to come in. And then this is always a really interesting thing because I've been on many runs in, in many different industries and businesses in my life. And uh, what is always, always, always the case is that once you stop, you will get an overflow or override of results. And so let's say you're working really hard for two, three, maybe even four weeks. You're not getting the results that you want. You're feeling frustrated. Is it going to happen? Is it not? What's the point in doing this for no return? All this hard work, all this effort. But then all of a sudden, week five, let's say you stopped for whatever reason, for whatever bit amount of time beyond that, and two or three people come and wish to place an order with you, are you going to turn them away? I would certainly hope not. And so uh, there are times where you put all of the work in and seemingly get none of the result. Very frustrating, don't get me wrong. But when you realize that there are times where you put none of the work in and get all of the result, well, that's great. But why not work on the basis with that in mind that the frustration you're experiencing now is not because you're not getting the result now, it's because you're having to wait for it later because it will come. There is no doubt whatsoever that by continuing to apply yourself, by continuing to reach out, by continuing to build new relationships, by continuing to make the offer at the appropriate time, that will pay dividend. And you don't have to take my word for it whatsoever. I mean, having been through that, I, I don't even know how many times, a hundred times in my life, I know it is an absolute fact to be true. But why don't you look at Raven and a 30-year career running 15 cancer care clinics? You know, the amount of setbacks and the amount of times that he must have been through exactly that process to only then end up landing a, a new uh, set of customers and clients and everything being okay and all the doctors and nurses' wages being paid. How many times have you been through difficult times at work and you're getting paid, you know, the same amount every hour and sometimes you go in and you're just like chatting on with a couple of mates and some of the customers are really nice and you have a bit of a laugh with them and help them out and they're really appreciative and that doesn't feel like hard work but you get the money. Sometimes you go in and the customers are just a massive pain in the ass or people on the phone or work colleagues or whatever it might be. 
and your boss is like really coming down on you for whatever reason, even though you've done pretty much nothing to deserve it. It might be that it, the hours just really drag and feel the same. So is that proportionate? It's not at all, is it? So yes, you're getting paid six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, hundred and fifty pounds an hour, and that's great. But that's all you'll ever earn, like that, constant on a flat line, like that. And that's whether you, you know, deserve it in terms of because you've worked hard, it's been pleasurable, blah, 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 blah. Or whether in comparative terms, you don't because everyone's a nightmare and everyone's getting on your nerves and everyone's, you know, getting at you even though you've done nothing. So there are ups and downs. There are fluctuations that constantly occur throughout life. Personal relationships, you might have a week or two where everything's completely amazing with your partner and you're getting on really well and you make each other lovely dinners and he brings you flowers or you bring him a teddy bear or whatever. I don't know, it's been so long since I've had a present, I can't even remember. But whatever girls bring boys, I've no idea. <laughs> um, it might be that you go away on a lovely holiday and you have an amazing fortnight away and everything seems really plain sailing and it's all reward for no work. But again, there are times, even in the best of relationships, where it feels like it's a constant uphill struggle, where every conversation you have is snipes and gripes and falling out and disagreements, where you just can't seem to see eye to eye, no matter how much you might sit down and talk about it. There's frustration, tension, anger and tears, all of which is very sad, but sadly is a part of any relationship. And then you get, you feel like you're getting no benefit for all of the work, but so worth it, is it not? Because once you turn on that undulation and start to come up again and beyond that baseline that you're accustomed to, that's acceptable for you, and you feel like you're doing none of the work for all of the result, well, that's joyous and happy. And that's exactly, it's exactly the same. This is a better way of conducting business, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't exclude it from the laws of the world, not even for a moment. And so it may be that you've just so happened to start on a tough patch. It may just be that you're talking to some of the wrong people. Now, you don't know who's right or who's wrong. You can't prejudge anyone. The offer has to be made to everyone. It's like going into a meeting room of 100 people and guessing which of them like Brussels sprouts and which of them don't. I mean, you could pick 20 people out of the crowd and say they do, and you might be right and you might be wrong. Chances are not, though. Only by asking each and every person in the room, do you like them, do you like them, do you like them, do you like them, getting an answer, do you know? And it's exactly the same here, because we don't know, we don't know people's hidden depths, we don't know. Unless they tell us, we don't know. And they can only tell us if we ask them. And so only by continuing can we ride the undulations, like every other part of life, can we ride the undulations, oh! And uh, my girlfriend just came and frightened me off today. <laughs> Only by riding the undulations can we get that all benefit for none of the work. And that's exactly the way that it works because it's not actually all of the benefit for none of the work. It's only because you put the hard work in on the trough that it feels like you're getting it on the peak. And so it's up and down, up and down. And then the wonderful thing is moving forward that because we're not talking about life, because we're not talking about relationships, because we're not talking about bosses and customers and, you know, any, any contractual type thing, then what we can actually do is skill up. We can equip ourselves with the skills and with the um, tools that we need to minimize the undulations and that's what we'll do together over a period of time until eventually you're just very um, minorly going above and beyond, never going on this wild ride, which is a necessary part of any new process that we take part in. So I hope that makes sense. Did anyone have any questions or comments on anything like that? The only thing I was going to say is we've obviously got the opportunity meeting coming up in Edinburgh. It's yeah. the 22nd, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got a few people between us who are kind of sitting on the fence. Is there anything that we could say to them to get them along? Because obviously once they're in that environment, obviously it makes it a lot easier. 
for us to then sign them up and get them yeah, started. Okay. Do you know what I mean? More the excitement and everything. Okay, so our role in this opportunity is not to persuade, it's to inform. So mm-hmm. we can tell them what they will get should they come. And what they will get is an amazing experience to learn more about the product, to meet some of the key players involved, to spend some time with the other people that are considering getting it, uh, getting involved, to maybe win a prize, to see the product, maybe even have a small taste themselves. Uh, and all these other benefits that they'll receive from coming along. And then when all else fails, just say, well, do you know what? Typically, I, when I invite 10 people along to a meeting, seven say no, so why don't you come along and be one of the seven? <laughs> It doesn't need to be any more complicated than that, you know? And the ones that say, no, I don't want to come, well, that's fine, and they can change their mind later. We're not in the persuasion business. If we persuade every single, try and persuade every single person as we go along, then all we're going to do is bring a, a, persuade a lot of people to come, then we're going to persuade them to join, we're going to persuade them to place an order, we're going to persuade them to repeat that, we're going to persuade them to talk to people. And, you know, we're just creating massive rods for our own back. We're not looking for the people that want to be persuaded. We're looking for the people that want to get involved. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, totally, that makes sense. Good. Cool. I'll just drag them then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's beating around the head with well, that, that works as well. So you do that. That's, that's the only thing I was thinking. So there are obviously, like I say, tools and skills, and we're going to pick them up over time. So mm-hmm. if it is that you're talking to your friends and family and they're the ones you're having difficulty with, well, perhaps you need to stop speaking with your friends and family. You need to broaden your horizon. Steph McKidrick is going to be doing the training on Friday. She's just hit Crystal Executive this afternoon, which is fantastic, obviously. And she's done that from her front room in her two-bedroom house in Belfast, recruiting in Scotland, in England, in Wales, and very little actually in the entirety of Northern Ireland because she hasn't targeted people in a local area. She's targeted people that she knows have health goals and aims and Mm. has facilitated the process of them being able to work towards that. Now, they're out there. She has no magic wand, but she'll be sharing her tips on Friday. Absolutely do join in and pick up what you want. But she has no magic wand other than hard work and reaching out. Natural and organic conversations, adding them to a group so they can see more information and following up. It's no more complicated than that. Now, don't get me wrong. She's excellent at it because she's worked hard at it over two or three years or maybe even a little bit more. And so she's got very good, but she's only got good by starting. So there's a really good saying by, I think it was Zig Ziglar, that you don't have to be great to start but you do have to start to be great. Mm -hmm. And that's all I'm asking of any of you because that's where I started. It's where Steph started. It's where Raven started. We all started in the same place. We all had some product and a story and that's all we're doing. And then it's just about who we share that story with. And if you're not, if you, if you're sharing with a bunch of people now and that's not getting responses, well, share it with a different group of people and with Facebook, with LinkedIn, with meetup, with, um, I don't know, Snapchat, Pinterest, all the different online tools. We don't need to leave a front room, but you can as well. In your local area, you can go to, to networking events. You can go to mum's events. You can go to social different social events. You can go to chat at the school gates. You can. There's all these different places, all these different opportunities to just simply share your story. No massive skill, no persuasion, no harassment, no clipboard chasing people down the street. Just share your story. If they're interested, they are. If they're not, well, they're not. They can come back again. Is that okay? Oh, perfect. <laughs> I, I just lost my signal for two seconds. That was all. Oh, okay. I thought you were watching <laughs> intently, Lynn. Oh, obviously, you're just frozen. I just froze now. <laughs> That's it. Bloody BT. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to have to dash now, I'm afraid. So that was a little bit fast and frantic, but hopefully... Um, you gain some value. I hope it makes sense to you. Each and every one of you, of course, feel free to follow up should you wish. I'm always here to support, to guide, to coach, to offer tips, advice and information to you, as hopefully you all know by now. Lynn mm-hmm. and Candice uh, are both there, obviously, to see you prosper as well. Uh, and uh, other than that, uh, I look forward to seeing you on the call. It's actually going to be on Friday this week, just a little heads up. 
um, uh, where Steph McKendrick will be sharing her tips and advice on how she herself this, this afternoon has reached the level uh, of Crystal Executive. Bobby. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thanks, Elias. I'll speak to you later. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.